to start with a small story. The story of a king who loved his wife a lot. On one Saturday, his wife passed away. The king decided that no other women in this world, or at least no other women in this society, should experience that kind of a fatal accident. So he decided, let me sell all my properties to procure a medicine which can make the women live at least for 200 years, which could make the women live a long, long life. So with that intention, one day he called upon the entire men who were present in the society to assemble at the arena. The king stood in the balcony and said, Dear men, I have a beautiful medicine with me. I have a miraculous medicine. If you give it to your wife, she can live for 200 years. She can live a very, very long life. Who would like to take this? All the men in the arena put their hands up and said, Oh, my majesty, give it to me. Oh, my majesty, give it to me. Oh, my majesty, give it to me. The king explained. Unfortunately, with the entire property that I had, I could only procure medicine which can make the life of one woman longer. So I cannot give it to all of you here. I can only give it to one person in this room. What I'm trying to do is, I'm just going to drop a feather from the balcony. I'm going to give this medicine to the person on whose head this feather is going to land. And let me just give this medicine away to him and make him very, very happy. This was an exuberant way of giving things from the dynasty himself, from the king himself. As he dropped the feather, the feather started to slowly go down. And all of a sudden, the king experienced hot air being blown out from the basement. The king was wondering what was happening. And when he looked down and observed, he found all the men there shouting, Oh my majesty, give it to my wife! Oh my majesty, give it to my wife! Oh my majesty, give it to my wife! MC, fellow Toastmasters, and my dear guests, I hope you all want to blow the air. Good evening to you all. Well, how many of you here feel that your childhood was the best days of your life? Please, can you put your hands up? I can see a good number of hands up. How many of you feel your married life is the best part of your life? Can you put your legs up? <laughs> I was one among you till very recently until I decided to get married. I got married and I thought with all my headstrong nature that I'm going to be the head of the family. And soon I realized that wife is like a neck. She has the complete control of the movement of my head. If I have to give you a glimpse of the talent of my wife, she can make 108 varieties of hot water in just five minutes of time. <laughs> that is the kind of talent that she possesses. Well, I wanted to explain what I want. I wanted to make her understand what my needs are, what my passions are. So I decided that there is only one way I could do it. That is to walk in and walk out of soul. If you wonder what walk in and walk out of soul means, it's very simple. The bodies of two persons remain the same, whereas their soul just interchanges. The soul of person A goes into the soul of person B, and the soul of person B comes into the soul into the body of person A. I pray to God. Oh my God! One day, one day, one day, I would like to live the life of my spouse. I would like to experience all the good things that I've been doing to her. With that note, I started to discuss this with all my well wishes. When I said this, when I shared this message with my mother, she fainted. When I shared it with my father, he was speechless. My mother-in-law, she was stunned. My father-in-law started to giggle at me, but at the back of his mind, I know, he also wanted to exchange this soul. <laughs> My wife gave me a very, very surprising look, and all my friends who were there gave me a very shocking look. The best of the day was reserved for my boss, who gave me a reaction, what I usually give when I receive the appraisal letter. Wow! <laughs> he was so surprised. Well, the souls were interchanged. I started to live the life of my spouse for those very few moments. 
That is when I realized I should gift her a book because I've been reading a book of 20,000 pages all these years to understand or to make my spouse quiet during tough situations. So I thought this is the best gift to give at the start of the day. I gifted her the book. She had a very brilliant idea to keep me quiet. She just banged the book on my head. I said, this is more simple. You don't have to go through the pain of reading the entire 20,000 pages. So she had an innovative way. She had a creative way of keeping me happy. As I was talking to you about stepping in or walking into the soul of the person, it was very easy for my wife to step into my soul, to step into my shoes, because it was good enough. But it was very, very difficult for me to step into her shoes because she had a heel, big heel. <laughs> my feeling goes for all those men who were used to getting a lot of things with those huge heel shoes. <laughs> well, this kept happening for many days, and finally, I'm sorry, this kept happening for the first one hour, and that is when I decided, okay, the life can get more beautiful. So we started to spend the remaining 22, 23 hours in a very, very innovative way. If you all would like to know, what we experience in the next 23 hours, then please bear with me and join me for the next possible opportunity wherein I would certainly love to explain to you about those 23 golden moments of my life. But, I can just give you a quick summary now. After stepping into her body, after living the life of a spouse, I realized women are really blessed. They can add so much of value to us. We make fun, but look at the commitment, look at the determination, Look at the passion, the sincerity, and the love and the care that they bring to the family, without which I don't think a family can run in a proper way. A women and men both go hand in hand. Instead of trying to exchange a soul, if we can exchange our love, our life can become more happy. Out to you, MC.